updates on spot stories across the globe. Aaron Akiri Jala joins us. Good morning, Aaron. Good, yeah, good to see you. Good morning to you. Ayo. Good morning to you, Rufi. Bye-bye. And Doctor, Aaron, it's good to be back. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I must say you are fully refreshed. We must have. And I hope that uh, that other assignment, you use the period of your leave to to score the goal. Um, let's get into what was a very, <laughs> very, very disappointing outing in a hugely anticipated game. It was the Battle of the Reds, so to speak, at Anfield, and everyone expected fireworks to actually go out, but a very drab and lame and anemic and goalless draw was how we actually ended up with Manchester United coming out with something that was massive. Liverpool were actually held on the day, and I must actually say that um, Manchester United showed composure and discipline, and more importantly, uh, Liverpool's only take away from the fact, um, take away from that particular game is the fact that they are not top of the table, and right now they are back to the summit of the table. But in the meantime, Arsenal had a day to remember. Once again, uh, digging deep and ensuring that they were um, able to actually clinch all three points on the day as they went against Brighton and over Albion at the Emirates Stadium. Gabriel Jesus and Kai Havertz, who seem to have found a new lease to life, um, were on the score sheet for the Gunners. And at the moment, Manchester, I mean, Arsenal are actually looking like the Arsenal of last season in terms of consistency, but this time around with a little bit of grit because they seem to be grinding our results when they do not play very well. But let's talk about the boy Wanda, the gift that keeps given. Real Madrid right now are celebrating because one man has actually notched his 13th goal of the season. Jude Bellingham, he's his name. And once again, he was on the score sheet for the Los Merengues as Real Madrid once again actually rose the highest against Valencia. But more importantly, it was not just the showing of Jude Bellingham, 13 goals, 17 in all competition, it was the fact that there was a particular man that actually visited the stands. They call him the next Pelé. Hendrix is his name. Hendrix de Sousa uh, is his name. And at the moment, they're saying he's the next player. Uh, he's actually been signed for Palmeiras. And uh, with the season actually done in the Brazilian league there, he's actually going to be coming to um, Real Madrid. A star study side already. He's actually going around familiarizing himself with everyone there. He is touted to be the next big thing out of Brazil. We know we've seen the likes of Neymar, we've seen the likes of um, Vinicius Jr. and the rest of them. They are claiming that this man is almost like a reincarnation of Pelé. Let's see if that will be true. Later on today... Fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll keep our fingers crossed, of course. Later on today, in Neon, in Switzerland, um, the round of 16 draws will be done and teams will be knowing uh, their opponents for next year's continuation of the FA Champions League. Of course, group winners will be going against runners-up and the permutations are actually up. And at the moment, Manchester City will be hoping that they get a favourable draw to actually defend it. For SSC Napoli, they are looking like one of the weakest teams in the runners-up, and everyone might want to take on either Napoli or Paris Saint-Germain. Of course, we still have our RB Leipzig there. Away from that, quickly, in the NBA, uh, some results actually coming in has to do with the fact that, of course, um, the Golden State Warriors have continued their rich vein of form at the moment with Clay Thompson actually posting 28 points um, against the Trailblazers on the day. And I must actually say that one man actually celebrated a huge milestone. We'll be talking about that in the moment. Moment. But Jalen Brown actually for um, the Boston Celtics against um, against the um, against the Wizards uh, actually doing it, and I must actually congratulate one man, Kevin Durant, KD as he, as he's popularly called, once again actually delivering 28 points. But everyone seems to be talking about the fact that one man has actually hit 3,500 three-pointers. Steph Curry is his name, arguably one of the best players in the history of the NBA, without a doubt the best shooter in the history of the NBA. Quickly, on the local scene, the Nigeria Professional Football League actually sizzled this weekend with massive, massive wounds. Plateau United were one of the big winners as Albert Hillary actually got a hat-trick for himself as Plateau United decimated Bowser United, five goals to one. Um, Rivers United's um, game against Aimba was postponed. And let's talk about Heartland beating Aqua United and not forgetting 3 SC also losing. Sporting Lagos also losing on the coach's birthday as Rangers beat them two goals to zero. And as it stands right now, despite losing, Remo Stars are still topping that particular group. And finally, one man going to the Olympics in badminton. Badminton is not spoken about enough here in Nigeria. 
and no, no, um, he's going to the Olympics and he's been honing his cues time and time again. And he has been, he's been the major shining light. And we must congratulate the president, Francis Obi, because in badminton and wrestling in Nigeria, we've seen men that have dipped their hands into their pocket to ensure that players or uh, athletes get the needed funds, get the needed exposure to go to the Olympics. Daniel Legale has done so well for wrestling, and nice, right now, badminton is also following suit. They'll be going to the Olympics, and at the moment, Okpayori is unstoppable. Okay, Aaron. Thank yes. you very much. We're told we've run out of time. But congratulations to Kane, Harry Kane. Yeah, 20 uh, goals. Who has made uh, history. history, 20 goals in 14 matches for Bayern Munich. Yeah. The last time anybody did that very quickly, was in 1968-69 by uh, Gerd Muller. Mm. Then you were talking about basketball. Giannis Atetutukumbo mm. now has the best history in terms of points, assists, and also yeah. you know, rebounds in the history of the box, beating the record of Karim Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.